Welcome to the coolest stuff on the planet. Hi there. I'm Matt. And um, I'm Rachel. And this is the coolest stuff on the planet. <laughs> okay, then. So today we're heading back to the Florida Everglades in Once Florida. Again. Yes, and but this time we're going to go to the Western Everglades. Uh-huh. Um, so, Matt, do you remember way back when, when I first broached the topic of going to the Everglades? And I sent you a little email and I said, Dear Matt, we're going to the Everglades. What's the most interesting angle for the Everglades? Yes, I do remember, by the way. And you sent me a little response. And it was in list form, and I thought I would share some of your suggestions with our readers because they were just so darn good. Okay, I'm not so scared. So darn cute. I'm not scared. Let's do it. All right. Okay. So we have one, visit a swamp. Two, find a dead body. Three, endanger your life by hanging around giant reptiles. I like that one's very to the point. Yeah, makes sense. Four, look for Jimmy Hoffa. Okay. And five, skin a gator. Yes. Which oh. I would not recommend because they are protected, but... Oh, my, my bad. I'm, I'm sure you were thinking out. of a metaphorical gator, right? Yes, yes. Either way, we're definitely going to check out a swamp from that list. Specifically, the Big Cypress Swamp. Now, you'll find the Big Cypress Swamp to the west of the Everglades National Park. Uh, it's a part of the Greater Everglades ecosystem, and it's, all, it's often called the Western Everglades, mm-hmm. which makes sense. Yes, and in fact, there's a documentary about that. Did you know that? I did not know that. Yeah, it's called Big Cyber Swamp, the Western Everglades. <laughs> well. Surprise, surprise. Yes. Uh, but anyway, about a third of the swamp, about 730,000 acres, is protected by the Big Cypress National Preserve, which was established in 1974. So the big old cypress swamp is full of semi-aquatic habitats from swamps to cypress strands to even pine forests. And its watershed is extremely important to the health of the Everglades. Now, that's a main reason why it was made into a preserve because of this watershed. Mm -hmm. Um, And Big Cypress Swamp and Preserve, in fact, gets its name uh, not from the fact that there are big cypress trees in the swamp, but because there are lots and lots of them. There are hundreds mm-hmm. of thousands of acres of cypress forest yes, in the exactly. swamp lands mm-hmm. in the preserve. Yeah, it, it protects a vast array of, wild, of wildlife. So if, if you want to watch birds, I would go there. If you, Because you might spot, uh, spot the anhinga, uh, which is it's a Florida wading bird. Just kind of wades out in the water. They're so pretty, too. They have They're beautiful gorge. wings. They're gorgeous. Or the roseate spoonbill, which is another pink bird. And we yes, I like remember in the one podcast you said one of the, that flamingos are one of the only truly pink birds. Yes. Well, we found another truly yes, pink bird. We so, did. Booyah! In some places, you'll even find ostriches. Do you know that? Do you know that, Tyler? That's yeah. It's an odd thing to find in a swamp. I wouldn't find an ostrich. Well, it would find you. Exactly. <laughs> so, of course, you will also find uh, quite a lot of alligators. Mm-hmm. All over the place. Not as many crocodiles, um, in fact. As you would find in other parts of the Everglades? Uh, yeah, and there are usually you'll find crocodiles in the more coastal areas of, mm-hmm. of the Everglades. But yeah, in the Big Cypress, you'll mostly find alligators. Nice. And <laughs> I don't know if you ever noticed, but a lot of images of alligators and crocodiles, you often see them with their mouths open. Yeah. And I always saw that and I wondered, what are they doing? Mm-hmm. Is that Are they just hanging out and they... They just, you know, what are they're they doing? Tired. <laughs> they're, they're, they're resting. I don't know. So I looked it up, and it's a behavior called gaping. And basically, it's a way for them to regulate their body temperatures, specifically nice. their heads, so their heads don't get too hot. Makes sense, because their their mouths are attached to their heads. Yep. I like it. Thank you for that bit of knowledge. Welcome. If you're not looking in for alligators, there are other things you can look for, such as wild hogs, water buffalo, bison, deer, And the Florida Panther. Once again. Yes. We love the Florida Panther. If you're interested in um, outdoors activities, not just looking at animals and and plants and such, um, there are miles and miles of trails for hiking. Um, Part of the Florida Trail runs through the preserve, Mm -hmm. and that's a pretty big trail. And you can even go on a swamp safari. That sounds like fun. Yes. I love the idea of a safari in general, but a swamp safari? Ooh, it just sounds dirtier. Sign me up. (laughs) Uh, 
Well, yeah, literally, I guess. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, the uh, Seminole Indian Tribe has a reservation in the swamp, and they operate a swamp safari service. So they'll take you out on guided tours on swamp buggies yes. and airboats. Those are the coolest, um, and they're loud. That's Big Cypress. Um, it's a very cool swamp. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like to learn more about uh, swamps, cypress trees, Florida, um, type those words into the old search bar at www.howstuffworks.com and you know what to do from there. Oh! <laughs> For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit howstuffworks.com. And let us know what you think. Email travelpodcast at howstuffworks.com. Don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes.